going through 2020, just like everybody else did. Um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty and, and there was, you know, a lot of pressure for me to figure out a way to, you know, provide for my family in a sense. And, and it was an option for me to kind of step away at, at the time and, and pursue, you know, coaching, things like that. And then I was lucky enough to get the call. Um, so something like this and getting to the big leagues after the years I put into this and, um, it, it's, it's honest, I can't put words. I've been, I think I've been shaking since I got the phone call. So, um, you know, it's, it, it means everything to me and my family. Rich Dubroff. With Spencer, with all the guys who have been called up recently and added to the roster, did you start thinking that this was going to be the time for you? Uh, yeah, that thought crept into my mind for sure. You know, seeing all those guys get the chance and, and the opportunity to come up here and be able to witness it. And, you know, it made it feel even closer for me. And, and it, it got to a point where I was like, wow, this, this is a real opportunity for me here. And, uh, and here we are. So I'm, I'm really excited. Steve Molesky. Spencer, what's helped you have such a good year? And when it's going well for you, what, what's working? How are you attacking the hitters? Um, for me, what we're, when, when I'm on my forcing fastball is, is kind of the bread and butter and I can ride the, you know, the top end top part of the strike zone with that. And then, you know, use my curveball off of that. And then the addition of a cutter and working on the changeup this year, uh, has helped a ton as well when it comes to East West. But when I'm on, I think my North South pitches, you know, fastball up in the zone, curveball down. That's what really, uh, gives me the success. Melanie Newman. Spencer, congratulations uh, to Standard. Just tell us the story of, of how you found out and who in particular for you were you the most excited to share this with? <laughs> um, that, that one caught me and we got a little emotional right there already. Um, so uh, Kevin Buck gave me a call this morning and it was a Baltimore number. I didn't have his number saved yet. So um, I kind of had an, a, a feeling, oh, maybe this is the call. And it was around like one o'clock uh, this afternoon when I was in the hotel room and and Kevin gave me a call and, you know, he was kind of nonchalant about it. And then he goes, yeah, so we're going to, you know, select your contract today. And it was a, you know, I couldn't believe it almost kind of a thing. And um, yeah, it's just when I got an opportunity to call my wife and um, sorry, that was a really special moment to tell my wife and, and uh, all the time she sacrificed, you know, with me being gone and me being um, doing this for eight years, you know, we've been together for six now and um being able to tell her and, and, and hear her be excited for me was an amazing feeling. Spencer, what's her name? My, my uh, wife's name is Brittany. Christy Riken. Hi, um, I wonder when you were kind of wondering if you should uh, quit baseball, did, did you have a job lined up or were you just exploring options? I did, so in the past couple of off seasons, I've been uh, training youth athletes through baseball and, and pitching position player, all that type of stuff. I've also coached uh, some youth teams as well. Um, so I had that lined up and then a high school in the Phoenix area, Paradise Valley High School reached out to me and I was working with them and kind of was getting set up to take over the freshman team, right? Had, you know, had the season not come to fruition or, you know, if I didn't get an opportunity. Um, so that was what was kind of lined up for me going into this year. And when you, um, I know you've gotten emotional a couple of times already, when you, um, have, have you been, I'm sure you've had a whirlwind day. Have you had a time to just sit back and think about your journey and everyone that's helped you and just kind of everything that came to this? You know, I've been, I've been kind of thinking through that, like, is that going to hit me? And I think I'm still just on cloud nine and it hasn't really sunk it in yet, but you know, my phone is lighting up every two seconds of people congratulating me and, and saying how thankful they are that they could, they were a part of the journey. So I think that's starting to hit me now that I'm seeing all the people that I've been that have been a part of this journey with me and have helped me along the way. Um, so I, I'd imagine here in the next 24 hours, it'll start really sinking in for me. But right now it's still, you know, <laughs> it feels surreal. <laughs>